beautiful. All in her body. Look at her whole body. Look, look, look. <laughs> I need a few minutes to compose myself. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Once again, my name is Brandon. I'm an acting coach, and I just slammed my microphone into a mic stand. I don't know if you could hear that or not. Thanks for coming back to the channel and checking something out with me. I'm about to look at another song by Gigi Delana. I think it's Gigi, not Gigi. I don't know. Gigi Delana? I don't know. I, I don't know. So I just came across this one. This is uh, Gigi Delana doing a cover of Sam Smith. This is Unholy. Know this song, or at least I know the chorus. There was a lot of stink about it a little while back. I remember that there was some controversy or something. I don't really pay attention to that kind of stuff. I remember that I loved her voice. I thought she was really great. Got a lot of heat from her fan base for critiquing her reading lyrics and then found out later that she was doing a show where there was like live requests. So these were songs that she wasn't super familiar with and hadn't memorized. I, I, I try to keep a very positive space here. I want to keep a very positive space. I love Gigi's voice. I love the way she performs. Let's keep the comments honest, but respectful. And all of us can have a good time and hang out here. Agree, disagree, doesn't really matter. We're all here because we love music. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for being here. Please subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment as long as it's friendly. <laughs> and uh, there are tons of ways to support the channel down in the description. There's uh, all my social media links, the Patreon, the YouTube membership is down there. Uh, also, there is a, a PayPal link where you can make a donation of a certain type, certain size, and you can request a music reaction, a TV series pilot or a film. Uh, there, there's a really great way to get your reactions uh, recorded and posted within a certain time frame, usually within 15 days, unless you use the express lane, then it's uh, three to five days. I get a ton of requests. There's no telling how long it's going to take me to get to something. So if you want something done, right now uh, that's the way to get it done and support your favorite youtubers we're basically working for tips the ad revenue doesn't really pay anything and most of these videos get copyright claimed we mostly make them because we enjoy making them we, we like sharing them with you we like hearing your comments reading your comments uh, answering you back when we can we love the community of it so support your favorite youtubers they're working really hard i promise it's like having five jobs all the time and for those of you who have supported the channel over the past couple of years i really appreciate it you guys are the reason that i'm here now if it weren't for you i wouldn't still be doing this it wouldn't be possible i wouldn't i mean i, I devote so much time to this that if, if i weren't getting some of that support from you guys this it would not be feasible I, I would have had to quit a long time ago so this is all because of you and i am so so grateful because i love doing this I love her, her personality, her attitude's really, really cool. Her whole band. Loving the vibe of this one. Nice. It's like another one that maybe isn't completely well rehearsed. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All in her body. Look at her whole body. Look at her abs. There you go. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, dirty. Aggressive. No, okay, we're gonna have to stop for just a second. My God. Now I remember really liking the way she performed. I loved the way, I remember loving the way she expressed, sort of articulated and, and colored the lyrics with her voice. She did a really good job of expressing the emotion, the context of the lyrics through texture and tone, not just through the notes, right? This is on a whole never level, right? My, my God, man, like from the jump, she put her hands up because I mean, I think she expected her, her, her band to hit that break, the, the, the previous four bars. So she's like, no, nah, no, nah. <laughs> stop the band. But she came through, started off from the very beginning. Her whole body is in this music, man. You could see it. I mean, she, her arms were outstretched, so you could see a good silhouette of her rib cage, her abs, and her hips. And she was feeling the music from her head, at the very least, to her butt, you know, because she's sitting down. I can't really see her feet. There was just the slightest bit of movement. There was the slightest bit of, uh, of, of engagement with the music. She was engaged, her whole body. And as it went on, she has this, like I said, dirty at one point. It, what I mean is, what I meant at the time, 
on a, on a, on a guitar, right? Whenever, whenever you have an amp and you make it dirty, right? You give it a little bit of grunge, you give it a little bit of edge of roughness. There was an attitude. Her voice was pretty clean. Now she had a lot of really cool, like uh, little uh, textures and she was adding a little bit of, a, of, of effect. She was affecting, affecting her voice uh, and changing it, mod- manipulating it, the space, her throat, her lips, her teeth. She was moving things around to, to change the, the feel and the, the density and, and the, 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 I mean, just everything about her voice, giving us these really cool sounds while she was singing the song. And that's all great. But more than that, it was, it was visceral. Like you could see her completely giving into, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful performance. Love this so, so much. Look at that. God. Love it so much. Knows how to work those cameras. Beautiful. Like, ooh. I'm, dude, I'm in love with this so much. Okay, look, here's the deal. Uh, look, 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 listen. <laughs> um, I I was not prepared. I just need a few minutes to con, 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 to to uh, to um what do you, compose. I need a few minutes to compose myself. Okay, look, I've been avoiding the word. It's beginning. I try not to overuse it, but I must say it because I can't help it. It's too much. That is damn sexy. The way she is performing this song i've heard it sung before I, I do remember hearing it it wasn't like this it wasn't like this what she's doing with her voice the way she's contorting her voice all that grit and gravel that sort of desperation that sort of i don't know the, the passion the, the the look she's doing it on purpose okay and i've been told when a person is intentionally being sensual or sexy or attractive it's okay to acknowledge it as long as you don't let it take over that's what i was told what i'm getting is performance i'm getting hardcore heavy performance and i have all the respect in the world for someone who has that much talent and commitment this is not shallow there are any number of women in the whole world and a lot of men can be sensual and sexy and seductive on command. I'm, I'm personally not one of them. A lot of people can do it. And that's not impressive by itself. When you're able to interpret lyrics, when you're able to interpret text and deliver the, not only the, the notes that you've been given, not only the actual words, the syllables, the verbiage that you've been given, but you're able to deliver the spirit of a piece in a way that is powerful and affecting and, and passionate and strong. It's one of the most beautiful things in creation, in my opinion, people who can who can tap into something when they're creating something, when they're making making art, when they're when they're breathing out uh, with their emotions, with their with their spirit, with their sort of being. Miss Gigi here is. I mean, yeah, okay. I'm, I make jokes, and absolutely, my temperatures, uh, my heart rate's probably going a little bit too, because she is. I mean, she's a beautiful woman, obviously, and she is intentionally being sensual and not just sexy but like sexy you know you know what i mean a woman that is confident in her effect on you that's sexy like she's doing it on purpose and she's doing an amazing job but beyond that she is really tapping into and interpreting and her instincts on these lyrics where she's being sexy when she's doing certain things with her voice when she's putting in more gravel and grit when she's being louder and bigger when she's moving her body it's lining up in a way that is creating a, a piece. It's creating a whole performance. It's so beautiful. It's not being sexy just to be sexy. She is doing this with purpose in the context of the piece. And I've rambled, I've rambled for way too long, but I want to go back and hear this rap again. I'm going to be going back a lot. Complete focus, man. Nice. 
nice. Like, come on, man. Here she comes. Man. And when you want a baby, I know you got you covered. And when you need a baby, just drop it on the covers. And mommy don't know that it's getting hot. Everybody's job doing something unholy. He sat back while she's dropping it. She be dropping it. Look at her. Look at this. Dude. Gonna give me some. It's okay. Listen. Uh, whoa. Um. I, look. I I do this a lot. You know. I, I react to musicians, to singers a lot. And in general, women in general are beautiful. Um. You know, watching these singers is very often women who who are uh very attractive, very strong and, and confident in, the, in their sexuality, confident in their ability to entice people to be sexy. And I I don't usually get affected like that. I really don't. There's only been two other times that I can think of that, that's even come close to that. It just feels, I just feel, I'm really, it's really, is it hot? It's hot in here. That glass was full when I started this reaction. Um, let's get to the music, to the performance, right? This is what we're here for. You can't really separate the sensuality, the the the, the sex appeal, right? The, the sort of gritty, passionate, kind of aggressive style of sexuality that was being expressed during that entire freaking song. You can't really separate that from the performance because it was a big part of it. A lot of people might look at that and think, oh, well, what's she doing? She's just like, uh, you know, making certain faces, moving her body a certain way. You know, any woman can do that, right? But that's not, it's not that simple. One, you're, you're performing a song, you're performing a piece. So there's a lot of your attention, a lot of your focus is on a, like a, a ton of different aspects of that performance. But beyond that, exposing that that part of yourself is not always easy. Uh, you're in a public setting. It, it's kind of sterile. You're sitting at a, at a microphone. You're on a stool. And it's very lit, very bright. There's not a person there for you to sing to. And you don't have the energy of an audience to kind of make it all okay. Like you're not getting that affirmation from an audience, that 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 sort of approval of what you're doing. So you're 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 there alone and you're just behaving that way. It reminds me of that scene in When Harry Met Sally. Most of you probably have seen it. It was Meg Ryan. Uh, she's sitting there with Billy Crystal and Billy Crystal says, women can't fake an orgasm. I can tell the difference. If a woman fakes an orgasm, I can tell. So she takes the challenge and fakes an orgasm in the middle of a restaurant. This was like, incredibly different. But when I watched that scene, I kind of got the same thought, which is it's incredible that somebody's able to go to a place like that, behave that way, act out like that, 
that so openly, so honestly, in front of other people where they're exposed, where they're on display. They know they're the focal point, not just of the person in front of them, but of all the people in the room, of the cameras and of all the dozens of hundreds of thousands of people who are going to watch it in the future. They have all these eyes on them and they get, they're able to sort of move in this very free, very uh, passionate, sensitive, uh, this, this like very intimate way. And the things you have to do mentally to, to get your body to do that, or at least in my uh, understanding, my in, in my opinion, doing that in front of people is not easy. So that by itself, the building of that fourth wall deserves a lot of praise, a lot of kudos. She did an amazing job. The vocals were insane. All, all those things that she was doing with her voice were, were just driving me nuts. They were so, so good. Um, so many different textures, so many different colors and layers, so many different sort of feels and expressions coming out. Uh, it, it was, it was, it was so, so it, even whenever she got to her most shrill, she never lost tone. She never got off key. It, uh, it felt so perfect. It was beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I was completely, completely blown away. Uh, in case any of you out there are confused when you're watching something like this, uh, particularly other guys out there, my opinion, if you want to hear it is simply this, that, uh, when someone creates something and puts it out there on display, it is perfectly okay to comment on it, to experience it and enjoy it for what they intended it to be. It's when you take someone who is simply living their life absent of offering anything up and then you pervert or distort their appearance or their persona for your own entertainment or pleasure. That's when it's not okay. That's just my little, my two cents on it. She was very, very, very uh, effective in the in what she set out to do. That was Gigi Delana. That was a really long video. This is a really long reaction. Thank you so much for being here. If you're still here after all of that, man, you should definitely subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell icon because, you know, you apparently like something going on here. <laughs> uh, leave me a comment. Also, let me know what you thought. And uh, yeah, leave me a, a like on the video too. And let me know or a dislike if you hated it, whichever. It's totally fine. Mm, yep. That's pretty much it. That's all I got for you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's raining outside. So I, th I think I'm going to go walk, walk in the rain. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, 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 please remember, as always, to be kind to each other. And most importantly, be kind to yourself.